This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Good morning guys, we are back at the spot where we've been before, camped up here today with uh, Norris, breakfast is cooking away in here. I'm in charge for making uh, it this morning. I'm going for our favorite oatmeal porridge, kind of untraditional but really simple nonetheless. We have some oat milk, we have steel cut uh, oats and for some extra deliciousness we add some coconut milk. Benedicta is actually gathering some toppings. There she is. <laughs> I promised topping and you delivered. And blue fingers. <laughs> Look at that. Fruits of the forest. Well this is just for me so I don't know what you're gonna have on yours. <laughs> and when the blueberries are in season that's a certain uh, sign of uh, autumn. And as you can see, the grass and the forest is starting to turn orange. Super pretty up here in the mountains as the fog comes rolling in. Same procedure as last year. <laughs> I think you were standing in that exact spot. Wearing the same exact jacket and <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm so close. She ain't moving. <laughs> Gang on our road. Oh, mama cow is mad. Okay, so this might seem like a bad transition, but it's now dark. We're in the van uh, making uh, dinner really late. It's uh, almost 10 in the evening. And uh, we got invited to some uh, people who have a, they actually have two T3s. Two landing guns, one synchro and one camper, high roof. We just really clicked and had a really good time and have a more scenic day tomorrow to show you. Here we're gonna have schnitzel and... Putting them in these um, tortilla wraps and adding some uh, veggies, some sriracha, some cheese. Quick meal but uh, should be really tasty. Mmm, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Really curious to what it actually looks like here. You never know when you arrive when it's dark. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Rise and shine.
after having battled with some curious cows. Oh no, the cows are coming. Ah, oh, the cows are so scary. <laughs> we locked up the gate and headed further west. Of course, it meant taking a ferry at some point. This is Norway after all. This one was fully electric, so it was pure tranquility gliding over the fjord. Later on, we parked up the van, packed our bags, greeted the friendly locals, and started gaining altitude. I guess it's hard to tell, but it's pretty damn steep. Ah. Look, straight from the start. That just means better views. Where are we at? Well, we're passing 600 meters uh, and we're supposed to go to like 800. And the sun is still pretty promising. So if we're lucky, we'll make it. And it is one epic view. I'm really excited uh, to see it and to show you. I get worried about her, <laughs> not myself. <laughs> oh, can we please make dinner? I am so hungry. <laughs> yes, now the photo shoot is over. This is the view we have. It's the last sunrise. And we will uh, set camp somewhere here. We haven't really decided just yet. So maybe somewhere up here it would be nice. <laughs> Simon was going to get the rest of our gear and he just brought the whole tent <laughs> fully set up <laughs> try to keep hold of your question as your actual reflection so for dinner tonight we're making um, our famous stroganoff we're using uh, onion uh, some uh, mushrooms and some vegetarian sausages today and we're gonna add some creme fraiche some um, tomato spices and we have mashed potatoes waiting for us in here so this is always a bullseye when we are um, hiking it's easy to make and it tastes like a proper restaurant meal And of course, we brought uh, our dishwasher. We can always rely on her. <laughs> hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Cheers. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. So this is the aftermath of a one day hike. Always really messy when we get back to the van. I'm just gonna quickly interrupt this video to say thank to the sponsor of this uh, video, Skillshare. I've been working with Skillshare for a while now. It's been a great tool in terms of learning new skills and getting better at what I do. I prefer personal growth and learning new stuff instead of just killing time scrolling through my social media feeds without any purpose. Whether you are curious or just want to boost up your creativity or learn certain skills or tools, 
this is the perfect website for you. A membership gives you access to all their classes and it's a superb resource if you want to start learning a new skill. Lately I've been watching Thomas Frank's class on mastering productivity, where he demonstrates how to work smart and stay productive with a system you can put into action right away. New premium classes is launched each week and all classes can be watched and free, allowing you to stay in the zone while exploring new skills. The first thousand people to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Okay, now let's get back to the road trip. Okay, so we have to do a little pit stop because this We are ready once more to start hiking. We are hiking to a destination where we have been before. Um, you might have seen it in a previous video. Uh, it is a very pretty lake. But this time we're gonna hike further in and spend the night, which we didn't do last time. So we have reached the lake and the famous viewpoint. Look at that color. But we're not stopping here. We are continuing all the way around. And I'm excited to see the view from the other side because I've never seen it before. So we're gonna set up camp here. I think it's gonna be decent. I think it's gonna be really nice. Uh, but one thing you need to keep in mind if you're gonna camp here is you need to keep a distance to the lake or the water because it's drinking water. We're gonna have a great time. Just look at the way you can frame anything with this uh, tent. It's, yeah, you can hear Sulu's trill about it. <laughs> I think she wants food, like me. <laughs> okay, so this is a quick rundown of uh, the ingredients that will uh, make the dinner. We have some uh, mushrooms, spring onion, some uh, fresh beans, some lightly salted cod. Uh, potato mash, a lot of butter, the real deal, and our famous and trusty gastromat, which is our all-in-one spice. We have the finished product, mashed potatoes, Fish looks delicious, flaky and nice, still crispy because the liquid fried it on uh, the skin side down. Yeah. Of course, the best way to do it. Now, let's dig in. Look at this luxury meal. And look mm. at this girl. And look at the surroundings. <laughs> Though it's completely dark, we wanted a little treat. 
we brought some strawberries and Benedicta came up with the idea to bring some milk chocolate. Ooh. It's the rooster telling us it's morning. <laughs> So that's it for now. I hope you liked this episode and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. That will help us a lot. So thank you in advance and we'll see you next time.